G'day viewers, Tarns here again with another video from Bombadil Hill Off Grid Living Journey, The Experience Yeah, I'm here today with a, I thought I'd do another video log type post I haven't done one of those in quite a while I think the last one I did was around mid-February and it's now the end of the end of March, so it's been it's been quite a while. I would do apologise for that. They'll be um, they'll be coming out on a more regular basis from now on. Yeah, there was a, a couple of things that I wanted to talk about today in the video. Over the last month or so, we've um, we've faced a couple of hurdles with regards to the productivity on the mountain the biggest of which has just been the um, incredible amount of rain that we've had over the last 30 days or so I was on I was online last night checking the Bureau of Meteorology and we've had about 27 inches so far this month which has just been I've never experienced anything like it it's either just been drizzling or pouring pretty much every day or almost close to every day we have had it we did get a little bit done so yeah, it's um, it's just yeah, it's slowed things down a lot, but it's also been good in a way because it's it's given us an opportunity to test out a couple of things, both with regards to the things we've built, and also just ourselves and um, playing the mental game of living out here on the mountain in the forest. Yeah, so, um, lots of rain, there um, hasn't been too much corrosion with regards to the construction and the foundations and stuff that we did for the shed. Um, there's been, yeah, a little bit of earth move around and stuff, but it's only been sort of topsoil sort of stuff that we've been pushing around anyway. It hasn't affected any of the buildings or the the water tower or anything so it's been a pretty good test for that and it's been reassuring in a way um, the roads getting in and out of the place we've got about about a mile about one half k's of driveway and um, yeah that's either it's mostly just dirt road with a little bit of gravel road here and there but um, there hasn't been a day yet that we've been un unable to get out of the place which has been really good sort of a that's also very reassuring there's a there's a couple of steep inclines and descents and the road is just muddy as anything at the moment but um with our video uh, with our vehicles we've got um, a couple of raised four by fours dad's got a van i've got a ute and um yeah there hasn't been a day that we haven't we haven't been able to get out Although, you know, there's a little bit of um, crazy fun driving involved, but that's been, that's been crazy fun. Um, what else there with regard to the rain? Yeah, just little things like increase in sort of wildlife activity and stuff around the shed. When it gets wet around here, a lot of the animals and stuff sort of seek out higher ground, which is understandable and stuff, so yeah. A few snake spot, uh, snake spottings and things like that, which is all good. I enjoy. Um, I enjoy embracing that. But the big, the big thing has mostly been the amount of leeches around the place. Like it's just been soaking wet for a month straight, and it's not too bad around the shed and the homestead area. But um, whenever we've gone down into the forest to do some work, either work on the roads or collect firewood or to go do some timber cutting and quarter sawing, we've just had to be extra vigilant that you don't bring back any um, unwanted stowaways on your person when you get back home. We've had a couple of, you know, picking the leeches off ourselves at the dinner table sort of experiences, which have been 
you know, unique to this place, I imagine. Yeah, so another another good test that we've had with this crazy weather lately has been um, the hot water system that we put in. It's a solar solar powered hot water system that utilizes vacuum tubes to um, absorb heat from the sun and deliver it to um, a water supply. And although we've had you know up to ten or eleven overcast and misty days in a row. It's continued, I think we got to like day 10 or 11 and the water temperature started almost getting to the point where it wasn't quite warm enough for a shower. And we've got pretty high standards, so for hot showers it would seem, but um, yeah, it's it's been a really good investment. And I told you guys I'll let you know about that. Um, and we'll continue to test that as we get into winter. Also, while it's been wet, we've sort of been going on a few more excursions around the place, just driving to various towns around the place, going to the coast a little bit. Um, always up for a trip to the hardware store to check out things, what we can utilise to build, get some ideas. Um, and when we do that, we tend to take a lot of the back roads around the place and um, continue to familiarise ourselves with the local topography and we've had some yeah some really fun and pleasant times doing that lots of natural um, rainforest areas and um, dipping valleys and green hills it's it's a great place this part of the world yes yeah, so that's I guess that's probably it for the not so pleasant sort of stuff that I wanted to talk about like I said it's mostly revolved around the insane weather that we've had. But in saying that, a big part of this journey is getting to, well, learning and realizing that you've got to live with the natural flow of things, which includes the weather, whether it's convenient for you or not, what it happens to be that day, even if it is 30 rainy days in a row. But um, yeah, and just another part of what we're doing right now is just has to do with um, embracing the flow of the change of seasons so lately for us that has meant I mean we're in the second month of autumn right now which means yeah uh, winter is coming the old Game of Thrones catchphrase gets thrown around here a lot and that means we just have to start we've been preparing a lot for the colder days and the or the shorter colder days and the colder nights that are just around the corner and for us that has meant spending a lot of time collecting firewood and um, we we managed to install our wood fired stove which has been really good um, we needed that for cooking anyway but it's a good heat source and yeah I put a video up about that a little while ago where we um, installed the stove and had to make, we didn't have to, but we we decided to make a chimney and a chimney cap from scratch using some some salvage materials, which was really fun, and people seem to like that video. Um, what else is there? Yeah, just figuring out how to heat the place. It's going to get fairly cold. I mean, it's nowhere near as cold as. You know, other people that I follow around the world that are doing a sort of uh, similar thing off-grid and living in sheds and stuff like that, or cabins. You know, places like um, the northern parts of the USA and Europe and things like that where they have actually, actually have like sort of um, below freezing temperatures and snow and all that sort of stuff. We don't have to worry about that, which is, we're in a very sort of lucky place. But um, it will get cold and we have to keep ourselves warm. So we've been, yeah, we installed the stove, but I'm also doing some work at the moment, restoring some other, uh, another old fireplace that we found, and we'll install that. So yeah, it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be too cool. Um, yeah, and of course, to fuel all these fires and stuff that we're putting in, we have to collect a lot of firewood, like I was saying, just, you know, and we have to do a lot more. 
but there's plenty of timber around the place. It's just a matter of getting in there and doing it. And um, yeah, the rain has inhibited that a lot, but hopefully there will be a change over the next few days and we're going to start getting a lot of that done. And that'll sort of put our minds to rest. Um, what else have we been doing? Uh, other things have just included continuing to work towards a sort of goal state of self-sufficiency. We've started the kitchen garden and um, I made the video about the wicking bed that we built and um, that's been going really well. We've already started eating vegetables out of, out of it. It's only been a couple of weeks. Uh, already eating some fresh spinach and lettuce and rocket and all that sort of stuff the all the micronutrients or micronutrients rather that you need to go with your your protein and your your carbs and your fats but um yeah so that's been really useful having you know it's it's kind of a tease at the moment because we're just sort of getting on to having you know um We've got a little bit, but we need to do a lot more. But it's good. It's really encouraging. It's working. Um, yeah. Yeah, so the kitchen garden's coming along. We also was down at the pub in the local village one night, and uh, a new friend of ours handed us a bag of seeds from his garden. And we sort of just cleared out a little patch down below the shed and threw them in the dirt there and see what would happen and they've come up really good it's um it's a companion growing collection of um, it's a classic one I think it was devised by Native Native Americans actually it's um corn squash and beans and you plant them together and the corn grows up nice and tall really quick which gives a foundational structure for the beans to also climb and then the squash sort of grows in between them on the ground acts as a ground cover and um, prevents weeds and stuff from coming up into the bed so that's yeah it's going pretty well at the moment I've put some photos up on Instagram and stuff on that yeah so that's I guess that's about it for what's been happening around here lately like I was saying not a lot because of the um, all the rain and stuff that we've had but you know it's been still continues to be a very exciting and interesting worthwhile endeavor for me so yeah it's been good um what's coming up got the video with the restoration of the fireplace coming up soon um we're probably going to be looking at getting some more animals in soon um probably some chickens and stuff maybe some ducks and um, the old man and I will be working a lot more with the sawmill uh, to build some fencing and enclosures and um, little areas around the place for animals and plants. So yeah, radio right guys, um, I'll probably leave it at that. Um, I'm going to go make a cup of tea or something, warm up a bit. But like I was saying, there'll be a lot more videos to come on a more regular basis. Lots lots of more projects and stuff in the pipeline and also some more updates because there'll be more happening once this um, weather changes a bit. And it will as the seasons change. But um, yeah, thanks for, thanks for watching the vid and thanks for all the continued comments and questions and um, interest in the journey. Um, as always... Um, post any questions that you might have about what we're doing here um, yeah subscribe to the channel and do your thing and um, yeah this is Tan signing off till next, next time see you guys